Windows 365 is about to arrive, and in this video, I'll look at how it might just be a huge benefit for education and schools. We'll take a quick look at what Windows 365 and cloud PCs are, and then we'll take a look at some use cases for education. I'll also address a couple areas of concern that I have that I'm hoping will be addressed when the product is released. We're still waiting to learn everything that Windows 365 will offer in terms of services, especially what will the price be for education specifically, but there are some things that we already know. But first, what exactly is Windows 365? Now, I do have another video on this channel that explains Windows 365 in a bit more detail, so I'll be a bit brief here. It's basically a computer system that runs on Microsoft's data center and that you access through a web browser. You don't have to buy new hardware. You don't have to upgrade your existing hardware. You don't have to worry about updates, patches, and security. You don't have to worry about backup and recovery. You can access a Windows 10 or 11 system from a web browser on a Mac, a Chromebook, a Raspberry Pi, and multiple devices. Each student can have their own dedicated cloud PC. That's the same, no matter where they are or on which device they use to access it at any time. You and your IT department can allocate and manage access for your school. And that's just a brief overview of what you get. But what specifically does this mean for education? First, we're going to have to look at the requirements for Windows 365, which aren't onerous, but they do need to be considered. First, you need an internet connection. And second, you have to have access to a subscription, which costs money or potentially has to be budgeted into your licensing. When it comes to the internet connection, it's not moving large files to and from the web down to your local device. You're really just using the web browser to view the cloud PC that's running in the data center. It's just the video, the keyboard, and the mouse that's being exchanged. So the speed of your internet won't be overly demanding. You even get a bonus in that any files you download to your cloud PC from the internet will be very, very fast because you'll be using the Microsoft data center connection. You aren't downloading to your local computer, it's cloud to cloud. Now, as for cost, that's difficult to answer until the product actually releases, and there are rumors around the cost for a business user, but we all know that Microsoft has long been generous to education with Azure for Education and the many tools and products they provide for a reduced cost to schools. We're going to have to wait and see on that. But I do believe that when you look at the cost of buying a cheap laptop for every student, and then maintaining and protecting those laptops, I can't see it becoming more expensive than that. Plus, there's a lot of extra benefits to Windows 365. So let's assume you have internet access and you're able to either purchase or access the monthly subscription cost for Windows 365. Oh, and of course you have to have some device that can access the internet through a web browser. It could be an old device, it could be a different type of device, it could be a Mac, so there are different devices that can do that. And I'm excited to try several of them, including some of the very inexpensive ones, which I'll probably do reviews here on this channel. So let's look at some school scenarios specifically where Windows 365 might be very useful. Let's imagine we have a class where we want everybody using the same system setup and software for all students. We want consistency. We also want to be able to access this setup no matter where the students are, whether they're at school or whether at home, we want portability. Further, we don't want them to have to share hardware for this system with other students or family members because we don't want settings overwritten or different software installed that causes problems. We want exclusivity. For many schools, they will have a shared computer lab that has to serve many students taking different courses. Different students are using the computers for different purposes, and if you're like most schools, someone's messed up a couple of the systems already. Now imagine that same scenario, but when the student sits at the computer, they use a web browser and they log into their specific 365 computer. It's dedicated to them. They don't have to worry about rogue software or settings that conflict with theirs. They just have to be able to get to the internet with that system. Now they go home and the family has an older laptop. Maybe it's running Windows 7 or maybe they have a Mac or an iPad or a Chromebook or maybe an inexpensive Raspberry Pi. I also have a video on this channel about using a Raspberry Pi in education. No matter the system, if it has a web browser, they have access to that Windows 365 system and the lab they were working on, the documents they were working on, the presentation, it's right there where they left it. Now, personally, I think that's pretty cool. How about this scenario? 
teachers are using different classrooms and labs to give their lectures. There's a computer and a projector in each classroom, but the teachers move from room to room. With Windows 365, as long as there's an internet connection in that room, the teacher has their Windows 365 computer environment in every room and at home. As all teachers know, we also have the special luxury resorts that every school district provides for us each summer so we can vacation. Whether we're at the beach or whether we're at the mountains resort, no matter which, which school district resort we're at, we can access those systems. Okay, that last part wasn't real, but I do sort of want to know how many people are actually watching the video to this point, so there are no secret teacher resorts out there. What is real is that we get all the same benefits as the students. So it also means that if we have to go to a hybrid learning environment, blending online and classroom environments, we gain that portability and consistency that Windows 365 will offer. And for myself, I really like this idea because it means I can have a school system that is very focused just on teaching. I'm not exposing my personal system to the class when I'm teaching. And this helps prevent students from seeing the different video games that I like to play. Flight Simulator is okay, but nobody needs to know that I'm playing Grand Theft Auto. Oops. Okay, anyways, sounds like Windows 365 is gonna be pretty cool, doesn't it? But there are still some areas I'm less optimistic about. Specifically, the pricing will be important. That's a wait and see scenario. I'm optimistic that we'll get a good price, but we have to wait and see. Then I'm wondering about the support for mouse clicks in devices such as iPads and iPhones. I have a video on the channel called Don't Buy a New Computer, Use Your Phone Like a Laptop. And this was an issue that I identified in that video for remote connectivity using like a tablet or an iPhone in order to connect to a remote computer running in the cloud. And then finally, a big one for me is device support especially camera and microphone. That's not something I think will be supported initially. Maybe it will, but I could be wrong. But we, can, but we know that we can use Microsoft Teams through a web browser and that that works. So I'm hoping that maybe Windows 365 will use the same mechanisms to access our local camera and audio and then pass it through to the instance of Teams running on a Windows 365 system. And that's a big question that needs to be answered because if I can't run Teams with audio visual, do Zoom calls and that type of thing through the remote PC or the Windows uh, 365 PC, that's going to require either a system that can handle Teams and Zoom, or I'm going to have to hold off and see what Windows 365 does to solve that. However, those, those questions will be answered and we have a new service that could potentially be very useful. Thanks for watching and stay connected for even more videos on learning and technology.